So today is a big day. It's Bree's one year cancer free uh, anniversary. And so. Bree Sandlin and husband Stephen have come to Mount Kilimanjaro, the world's highest freestanding mountain, to celebrate life and a major milestone, the end of two life-challenging and life-changing battles. The first began seven years ago, shortly after the greatest day of their lives. My husband and I have been wanting to have kids for a long time. We've been trying. Um, we weren't successful, so we went through IVF and vitro fertilization. We were blessed with twin boys, which was wonderful. Uh, but one of our sons immediately had problems. Day two, started having surgeries. Um, he was in the NICU for nine months. During his sixth month, he had a stroke, a massive stroke, um, and he was, it was left with the diagnosis of cerebral palsy. Bree and Stephen's lives changed overnight. Let's look at overall profitability rather than just revenue. Bree is a marketing executive with Shell Oil. She loves her job and is grateful that it provides the resources to care for Beck. So, without hesitation, Stephen quit his job as a graphic designer to do what had to be done. He needed to be home full time and it, it wasn't even a, a, a question or a thought. I mean, he just so willingly said, you know, I'll, I'm happy to give give my time and my life to be there for him. And uh, it's inspirational. He's nothing but a blessing to us. Um, if not his perseverance and watching him make it through these things that every single doctor says he shouldn't make it through, it's hard to not be inspired by that. And it's hard not to work for him when you see what he's done for himself. Can you smile if I talk about the Wonder Pets? Beck cannot roll over on his own. He can't walk or crawl or stand up. If Beck's going to do something, it's because somebody else does it for him. 100% reliant on other people, feeding, sleeping, everything. And he's cognitively completely functional. He is what the doctors consider in a lockdown syndrome where he can't communicate and he can't tell you what's going on. But he understands very well what's going on. Beck, you got Batman. <laughs> Yeah, he's the most amazing blessing we've ever had in our lives. Yeah, he teaches us every day what true strength and perseverance encourages. But the Sandlin's capacity for strength, courage, and perseverance was about to be tested again. We had thought for sure we had been dealt our biggest challenge in life in caring for Beck. And when I was diagnosed, I think we found out that that, that, that was wrong. You know, facing your own mortality is, is actually um, a lot harder. <laughs> and when, especially when you have a whole family depending on you. The boys were five when Bree was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer, an aggressive cancer with a high mortality rate that can be difficult to treat. And I was just sitting in the driveway and I remember thinking now I have to go inside the house and tell Stephen that I have cancer. How in the world am I going to do this? And I remember I walked through the door and Stephen was baking. And so I walked up and he was really intense and I was like, hey, I need to talk to you. And he was like, okay, you know, he's, you know, doing his thing. And I said, no, listen, it, stop, we have to talk. And I just started bawling. All I thought was, it's going to be fine. We're going to make a way to make this okay. I don't know what it is. She kept asking me, how do you know that? How do you know it's gonna be okay? And I said, I don't know, but it's going to be fine. Like, we'll find a way to get through this and to make it work. He was my dietitian, my personal trainer, my coach, my motivator, my optimism. He was everything. I mean, it's just, you know, it, he definitely was the one that made me say, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna fight. We're gonna kick this thing's butt. And um, you know, he just, he was amazing every day. After multiple surgeries and eight months of chemotherapy and radiation treatments, Bree got a clean pathology report. Her cancer was gone, and suddenly she understood a statistic that Livestrong shared with her months before. 90% of people um, of survivors, right? So people who, who come out on the other end look back on cancer as a positive experience. And I remember at the time reading that 
quote and to say that complete bull. There is no way that I'm ever gonna look back and say, oh, I'm so glad I got cancer, right? That was, that was a really positive thing in my life. And I remember thinking that at the time, and now I'm on the other end of it, and I'm, I know exactly what that means, right? I'm, I was given a chance to um, appreciate life so much more and, and to know how much everything means to me and what I love and what my passions are and um, just stop going through life in a, you know, a regimented system and to, to take time to appreciate it. And I, I think Livestrong opened my eyes to that. So Bree and Stephen joined Survivor Summit to support Livestrong and to celebrate her one year cancerversary on the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. How you doing there, Bree? I'm stronger than this mountain, that's all that matters. Yes. I can't believe it's a year ago where I was versus now. It's like night and day. Night and day. It's very emotional. I bet. So, it's gonna be an amazing moment. I'm just really excited I get to celebrate it with all of these amazing people. And my husband. <laughs> You make me cry. <laughs> it is pretty cool. I didn't know where we were going to end up in a year, but this is one of the better outcomes. Climbing the mountain to me is, is like just the perfect metaphor for everything. I mean, it's, you know, putting one foot in front of the other every single day, no matter what, no matter how hard it is. It's, you know, reaching this pinnacle. It's relying on everyone around you for support and to get there. I mean, it's just, it's the perfect metaphor. Oh, yeah. 100%. The moral of the story is we are all, every single one of us, every person on this planet is stronger than we give ourselves credit for. We can do these things. We can do unbelievable things. Um, it just takes uh, some, some leap of faith and uh, some, some great friends. <laughs>